Thanks for joining me today. I'm going to show the Samant maneuver. This is usually good when you have an otolith that has been displaced out of uh, its uh, origin uh, in the cupula and it is in the semicircle canal. The right to posterior is what we're going to uh, be looking at. So to do that procedure, which is also helpful for desensitizing someone that has dizziness that's been diagnosed by their therapist, you would look away at 45 degrees to the left and up 30 degrees. Maintaining that position, you're going to lie quickly on your right shoulder. If you've done that correctly, you're looking at the ceiling. This is provocative in nature, so you're going to want to hold it even though it may be uncomfortable. And after the one minute, you're going to go all the way to your left shoulder. It's very important to maintain your head position while you make that switch. So I'm going to hold and go all the way down. And I should be again facing uh, 45 still and up in my, with my head for one minute. And this is again potentially provocative. You just try to hold out. Despite the nausea or dizziness, you really got to hold until that terminates or your one minute is finished. And then you're going to sit back up. And that's how you do a, a Samant procedure or maneuver for the right posterior canal. Now, uh, let's say you've been previously diagnosed with the left uh, posterior dysfunction of, the, of that uh, semicircle canal. Then it's all backwards. You turn to the right, 45 degrees, look up 30 degrees, and quickly go to your left shoulder. So left canal, lie on left side, and look away. Again, you hold one minute, and then you all the way to the other side quickly like that. You're gonna hold that position one minute, and then return to an upright position. So whichever of those positions has been diagnosed in the past might be a good start. Or if your PT says, here's your homework, go do this side or the other.